So here bank dot dot com. This is sample application. Just take this as a sample application. So how do you log into this application? We enter username and password. Then only it will allow to use a functionality, right? So during design document, what we do ideally, we enter user ID and we enter password. Click login button. Here we don't develop any software here. Okay, so far we don't develop any software. We create a document called a design document, called a ER diagram document. In this document, we simply define what is user ID and what is password, what is key login button. That's all. After entering username and password, this is a username and password, right? Okay, enter username and password, click sign in. So this is actually account summary page. Okay, account summary page. What I'm going to do, see, apply for new account. Just click apply for a new account. I am applying for a new account. Enter nickname of your new, uh, new account. Okay. okay, current account. The type of account is here. You can see checking and a savings. I'm going to select a checking account. Just click apply. Okay, view your accounts now. New account has been created. Okay, the name of the account is this, and account ID is something. View your accounts now. You can see new account has been created with a minimum balance of hundred dollars. Right. Similarly, if you want to apply for new account, just click the new account. Okay, instead of saving account, I'm going to create a saving account. Current account, this is saving account. This time, the type of account is savings. Just click apply. View your account. Now you see, there are two accounts have been created. Clear? So where is this functionality? Okay, how developers create? Each and every detailed document of the software will be there in the requirements gathering and analysis document. Okay. So once we have these documents, developers create a two type of documents called a high level design document. High level design document. Another one is a low level design document. So both the documents are useful to develop the software. Okay, we have a high level and low level design document, but I will show you how it looks like. Low level and a high level design document, how it looks like. So this is how it looks like, okay? High level design document. See here, I told you already, first we analyze the requirements, design. Under design, we have HLD, high level, and LLD. LLD means low level design document. How this uh, design document looks like, this is how actually the design document looks like, okay? Just uh, save this image. Yes. Yeah, this is how actually design document is almost like flowchart only. 
but we never work. Okay, even a developer doesn't work. Then who will create this document? This document is created by test architects. Okay, test architects are nothing but people who have a strong knowledge on domain as well as a technology. Okay, create this document called a design document. Who is this architects? Architects are people uh, who have uh, more than uh, 20 years of experience, senior most technical people. Okay. Just look at here. First, uh, we launch an application, sign up. Sign up. Here, uh, sign up is uh, enter password and email. And if it is correct, uh, it will go this way. And enter uh, email and password correctly and resend the password and email. That's all. If it is correct, it will go this way. And create a new account. See here, create new account. Enter first name, username, email ID, password, company name, location, all those details it will be. But in our application, it is not asking all those details. But ideally, if you create an account, it will ask all these things. Blue color ones are called actually steps. And this uh, red color one are actually decisions. Based on this decision flow will uh, be changed. Okay. So after creating an account, what it does, we are going to correct the location where exactly we are located. And if you want to change the job preferences, you can do that. Connect uh, social profiles and then review profile. And finally, you have to confirm the account. After that, you can able to see the home page. Okay, you can able to see the home page. And if you want to see the profile, this is where you can see the profiles. Okay, you can also do some job search. You can also do uh, check the job listings and discovery and all. So this is basically not a banking account. Uh, this is actually a uh, job portal, job portal application. Job portal application, you have to register yourself, right? First, after registering yourself, account has been created where you can uh, update your profile and you can also search for jobs and you can also list how many jobs are there and we can discover the new jobs. Very lengthy document, see? You saw what it looks like, design documents. Yeah, are you guys following? Everybody, because Mushaswini, Anjali, Ashish, Ikram, Fatima. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions in this. If you have any questions, I can explain once again. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, now what next? This is a design document, fine. What is a low level design? Low level design means you never understand. <laughs> okay, low level design only who can see the class names. Okay, this is high level, right? Let's do low level design document images where you can see the classes. So this is a one of the image, I think. Uh, I will take a big image. I think this looks big, let's see. Save me this. See here, are you able to understand anything over here? It's actually registering entry points. Sweta, you joined late and uh, we are just discussing about uh, the very fundamental concept called STLC. So I'm going to brief you 
what is stlc software development life cycle the software development life cycle we have various phases first one is actually requirement gathering and analysis software development life cycle is a fundamental process that every company follows to develop the software what is software software is nothing but a collection of programs and classes so in the software development life cycle the first phase is requirement gathering and analysis after gathering the requirements analysis we do design currently we are discussing about design okay but uh, as a developer or tester we never involve in uh, designing because only people who have more than 20 years of experience uh, design these documents design and uh, high level design and low level design this is low level design documents this is low level design document where you can see registering a uh, entry point enter username and password login and this is payments i think it looks like it's actually banking a uh, uh, pay application and registering the user over here and log into an application this is front end this is front end okay so i am going to minimize this is back end there are three uh, layers of the application front end back end and a database front end means this is a front end i am going to show you the sample application called front end here this is a front end application this go to ua bank this is a front end log out enter username and password this is a front end after entering username and password we are able to see the accounts of the page right this is a front end so registering so if you want to see the registering just click log out how to register so this is how actually we register okay first name title middle name and these are the details you have to enter email id username and all you have to enter see here username password and email after that what you can do we can log into an application where we are going to enter the username and password finally we can able to see the payments information see here uh, if you look at here after log into an application username password email api key account to type access once we are able to enter the username and password we can have an access to our account details so from where we are getting this account details we are getting this account details Let's go back enter username yeah how we are getting these details you tell me control a software current account saving account how we are able to get these details we are able to get this document details from the database see here this is connected to the database see here username password email api key account type and access we are retrieving from the database this is connected to this at the end of the day all these functionalities connected to the database here you can have another api also see here so many apis are there we are validating whether our account details are correct or not how do you validate again we will create another api we have an api access to the api key we can connect to this apis and validate our uh, apis okay so apis we will discuss it later anyway so this is actually high level design low level design document this is low level design document and this is high level uh, design document where is the high level design document i'll show you high level design document yeah design document this is actually high level design document in this also developed by the architect only we never touch we never involve we never involve this actually only okay high level people can design this document okay so after that uh, what you are going to do high level low level design then finally the third phase is actually implementation okay how do you implement as a developer we actually develop the code. we develop the code and we 
uh, okay, create so many classes. Then finally, we go for testing. So we test the code. Whatever we are just creating uh, classes, at the end of the day, we have to test the code. And finally, that go to the last phase called uh, implementation testing and finally deployment. So where exactly we are going to deploy? So software has been deployed, okay, uh, created, and we are able to access it. How that is possible? Because uh, the entire code uh, supposed to be deployed into the production environment. Then only we can able to access. So deployment happens in three phases. One is actually QA. After that, uh, so first one is actually dev, dev, and then QA. Then finally goes to okay, branch. We deploy the software in development environment. Post development, we push the code to the QA. QA means testing. Testers will do the testing. Finally, code moves to the production environment. Okay. Yes. Code moves to the production environment. Dev, QA, testing, and a production environment. That's all. The final phase is actually maintenance. Okay. During this maintenance phase, what exactly we do? We maintain the software. At this time, in this phase, testing or implementation or development, we have around 10 developers. Once you reach your maintenance phase, you know, hardly we'll have two developers, two or three. Because development is over already, testing also done, and application in, in a, a very stable stage. At this stage, uh, we don't have, we don't require 10 developers. We hardly require uh, two or three developers to maintain the software. So the, during testing phase, we have uh, five testers. In the maintenance phase, we hardly need uh, one tester, one or two testers. So that is all about actually software development life cycle. Total six phases, requirement gathering analysis, design, low level design, high level design, development, where we develop the software and testing. We thoroughly test the application, okay, to deliver the quality product to the end users and clients. What is the objective of testing here? Testing is to ensure the application is bug free. And finally, development, deployment. We deploy the software. And finally, application goes to the okay maintenance space. Okay. So any questions in SCLC? Just let me know. We can take it up. So under HTLC, we have so many models are there. One is waterfall model. And second one is a okay, spiral model or incremental model. And third one is a V model. Okay, so what, whatever we have discussed so far is actually waterfall model. In this model, total we have six phases. We go one after another. But the incremental model, what happens, you know, entire application is divided into different builds. Application is divided. So, then finally, V model. V model uh, application required a lot of testing where we implement a V model. Okay, application, there are very critical applications, like especially if you're uh, doing uh, scientific applications like the uh, launching or satellites. Okay, launching is some other very important scientific uh, 
objects into the space at that time testing is really very very important thorough testing is required in such kind of applications we follow v model v model means uh, if you draw v model on the paper it looks like v that's why we call this model as a v model okay and then finally we have agile methodologies or agile models agile Okay, so coming to the spiral model, why we have to divide the entire application into builds? Because if you take a banking application, the size of the application is very big. You can't imagine really. If you take ICICI Bank, take ICICI Bank. Look at here, how many functionalities are there? Okay. So, look at here, how many functionalities are this is a personal bank. Under personal banking, see, these many functionalities are there. Okay, just go to accounts. These many functionalities are there. You can open the savings account, deposit, forex, and so on. Internet banking. See, under banking, also different models are there. Okay. See way to bank. Just see here internet banking, mobile banking, calculators, other channels. See these many functionalities are there. Go to cards, credit card, debit card, forex cards, and commercial cards. See here. And coming to loans, house loan, personal loan, these many models are there. Okay, home loan, car loan, gold loan. Okay, and coming to investments. So fixed accounts, recurring, and then uh, I wish global ways. So many investment methods are there. Can you develop the entire application in one stretch? Imagine if you try to develop the software at a time, all the functionalities at a time, how, how difficult it is. How difficult it is. It is really very difficult to develop the entire application in one single okay, stretch. That's why we have to divide the entire application into different builds. First build, we go with the accounts. That too, we go with the savings. Second build, we go to deposits. And third build, we go to forex. And then fourth build, we go for a way to bank. After having accounts only, he is eligible for cards, right? Who can apply, uh, get the cards? Who has a very good salary and all, right? So next, we create a cards uh, build. Inside cards, these many builds are there. This is another uh, functionality called loan. Again, we have so many sub functionalities. And again, investment, we have these many functionalities. Insure, these many functionalities. Pay, these many functionalities. Offer, these many functionalities are there. That means every application has uh, so many functionalities. These are functionalities can be divided into different builds and start developing the code. That is all about spiral or incremental. Then coming to V model, okay, V model. I think this. I'm a great bench. Yeah, this one.
So the V model looks like this. Okay, this is our V model. In this V model, on left side, you can see the verification and right side, you can see the validation. Verification, yeah, just a second. Hello. Hello, tell me. Good one, tell me. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Hello, what do you want? Okay, so verification and validation. Under verification, first we create a BRS, CRS, and URS document. This is nothing but a different requirements. To develop the software, we need a requirements, right? Okay, we need a requirements, right? Those are actually documents. After uh, reviewing these documents, we create a HLD and LLD. HLD means high level design and low level design. Again, we review these two, two documents. And to ensure that these documents has covered all the okay, requirements or not. After reviewing these two, we do coding. Okay, after coding, what we do? We carry unit testing. Okay. After carrying unit testing, why we are carrying unit testing? Unit testing is for to ensure that the code is working properly. Then we do integration testing, then we do system testing, and then we do user acceptance testing. All these four levels comes under validation. Okay. Is it clear? The left side we call actually verification because actually we simply verify all the documents, all our documents only. On right side, we validate. Validation means after completing the coding, whether the coding is working properly or not to ensure that we actually do validation. Okay. So this is all about B model. We stop here for today anyway, and then we'll continue the remaining topics tomorrow. Okay, we'll uh, start with the child methodologies tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks for joining.